Hello, kindergartners. We are going to be on lesson 12-3. It's on page 697. Now, Emily has two shapes here. She has a red shape and a blue shape. And she's looking in her room and she's trying to match these shapes to different things in her room. So let's first look at this red shape. Do you see anything in the room that matches this shape? Either this way or this way. Do you see anything? Now I see two things in this, in this room. I see this bed. This bed is the same shape as this red one. I also see this side table. This side table is the same shape. So I'm gonna draw a line to the bed and also to the side table. Now let's look at this blue shape. Now I see that this blue shape has four sides, one, two, three, four, and four vertices, one, two, three, four. Just like this shape has one, two, three, four sides and one, two, three, four vertices, but this time, this shape has all the sides are the same length. Is there something in this room that has that? I noticed that this rug is the same shape. It has four sides that are the same length. Now these two shapes have special names. This one is called a rectangle. A rectangle has four sides and four vertices. But this side, these two sides are long and these ones are short. This is called a rectangle. Now this is a special type of rectangle that all of the sides are the same length. This special kind of rectangle is called a square. All right, we're gonna be talking about rectangles and squares today. All right, we are going to be coloring in all of the rectangles, even the special rectangles. Then we're gonna mark an X on the rectangle that is a square. So for this one, number one, they already did it for us. This is a circle, so we're not gonna color it in. Now this is the special kind of rectangle, so we're gonna color it in and put an X on it because it's a square. This one is a rectangle, but these two sides are different lengths than these ones. So we're not gonna put an X on it. And this one is a star, so we're not gonna do anything with that one. Let's try number two together, okay? Is this a rectangle? Yes, it is, so let's color it in. Now, is it the special kind of rectangle where all the sides are the same length? No, it's not a square. So we're gonna leave it just like that. How about this one? There's one, two, three, four sides. Now this one has four sides and four vertices, but they're not, the, they, it doesn't look like a square. So we're gonna skip that one. That's actually a diamond or a rhombus. Now this one is a heart. Does that look like these ones? No, it does not. How about this one? Is this a rectangle? Yes, it is, and it's the special kind of rectangle where all of the sides are the same length. So we're gonna cross it off because it is a square. All right, let's keep practicing that over here. Now, we're gonna be looking for rectangles, and if there's a special rectangle where all of the sides are the same, then it's a square. Now, how about this one? Do, is there four sides? Two of them are longer, two of them are shorter. Is this one a rectangle? Now if I turn it just over a little bit, look, it is. It is still a rectangle. So let's color that one in. Is that a special kind of rectangle? No. How about this one? Does this one have four sides and four vertices? Yes. Now is it the special kind of square? Is it a special kind of rectangle that's a square? It is, they are all the same size. Now this one, ooh, look at that. It has four sides and four vertices, 
but I notice that they are turned to the side like that. Is this rectangle kind of turned to the side like that? No, so that is not a rectangle. And this is a star, it is not a rectangle. Let's look down here, number four. Is number four a rectangle? Or is this a rectangle for number four? No, that's a star. How about this one? Nope, that's an oval. How about this? Yes, that is a rectangle, so let's color it in. Is it a special rectangle? No, it is not. These, one, these sides are longer than these sides. How about this last one? Is that a rectangle? Yes, it has four sides and four vertices. Now, are they all equal sides? They're the same length? It is, which means it's a special kind of rectangle called a square. All right, for number five, we're gonna be finding all of the rectangles, and then we're gonna put an X on the rectangle that's also a square. So how about this one? Is this one a rectangle? Yes. It is, a is it a special type of rectangle that's a square? Yes, it is, so let's X it. How about this puzzle? Is that a rectangle? Yes. Is it the special rectangle that's a square? Yes, it is, so let's put an X on it. How about this sign? Is that a rectangle? No, that's a circle. Let's go to this one. Is this a rectangle? Yes, it is. Is it a special type of rectangle? No, it's just a normal rectangle. How about this clock? That's a circle. How about this napkin? Nope, that's a triangle. It has three sides. How about this shell? Nope, this shell is a circle. How about this poster? Yes, it is a rectangle. Is it a special type of rectangle? No, it's just a regular rectangle. And how about this one? Nope, that is a circle. All right, let's go on to our independent practice. So I want you to do what we were just doing, and I want you to go through all of these shapes, and I want you to color in all of the rectangles. Then if it's a square, I want you to put an X on it also. So color in all of the rectangles, but if it's also a special kind of rectangle that's a square, put an X on it. Then I want you in a number 10 to draw a green rectangle and draw a yellow square. So a green rectangle and a yellow square. This is the only page that you need to post on Decisa and I'll see your work there.